Hi friends, welcome to the first tutorial of ComSol Multiphysics. Today I will teach you how to use ComSol. So, before going into details, we should know a few things about ComSol Multiphysics. ComSol Multiphysics is basically a finite element based software which we generally use to perform several kind of simulations related to science and technological problems. Today's topic of discussion is how to model a pipe flow in ComSol. So before going into that, let me open the ComSol software. Now I go to start and type ComSol because the ComSol 5.2 is already installed in my computer. Now I just click it. One file was already open that is why it came. Now I go to file. take a new interface so when this is a new page of ComSol so you can see there are two options one is model wizard another is blank model from these two you have to choose model wizard once you click on to the model wizard it is taking time so there are several options 3D, 2D axisymmetric, 2D, 1D axisymmetric, 0D, etc., etc. So before going into details of all the things, whichever you see here, I just want to show you how to use 2D model. Now, I uh, in this particular problem, we will solve pipe flow in 2D. So we will choose the 2D problem. But one interesting thing is there, there is an option called 0D. What is 0D basically? 0D means where we don't need to specify any space but we have to solve certain equations like your reaction, reaction kinetics. I if you want to study a reaction kinetics, you don't need to take any solution space. In this kind of problems, you can use your 0D. But for the time being, we will study on 2D. So I just click on to 2D. it is getting open so now you can see here there are several options those are called the modules of ComSol multiphysics now from these modules we can see there are several kinds of modules AC, DC, acoustics, chemical species transport so from this I have to choose a particular module or modules based on my problem here I want to simulate a pipe flow that is why I will take fluid flow now if you click on here there are several options inside fluid flow also I want to model a single phase flow and it would be laminar one so I click on single phase there are several options out of this I take laminar flow after clicking on laminar flow you just click on to the add button now you can see this laminar flow will come to this particular space and that will signify you have taken that particular module for simulating or for modeling your problem so now you can see here the laminar flow SPF has come and what is this basically those are the variables which you have to or we will be solving in this particular simulation now once you take the module you have to choose your study now you click on study there will be several options out of this you take time dependent because I will be solving for unsteady state basically time dependent means the unsteady state and stationary means the steady state once you click on time dependent there will be an option called done you click on done I don't want to change the previous one that is why I click no so just wait my computer is a little bit slow because too many programs are running behind <coughs> I 
and one more thing you need to have a good system to run comsol because it's a big software at least 4gb ram is preferable but even in 4gb it is not a good thing to do it my system is 8gb ram but still it is taking time because i am running lots of program behind so wait for a while <coughs> let me all the other things running behind it has come sorry for the delay now you see here you have several options now the initial things which I will tell you is that you have three sections of this particular page you can see here it is called model builder window this one is setting window and that one is graphics window so in your model builder window you have to choose the options and you have to model your problem and in setting window you will uh, the parameters whichever is associated with the modeling will be shown and accordingly you can choose and you can change the values now at first you will we have to make our geometry geometry means the solution space where we will be solving the equations now I just click I just right clicked on geometry and take rectangle options because I'm I am simulating it in a 2d so in pipe flow as if you take a cut section it will be a rectangle only now if you go to geometry we can change this unit and I choose centimeter and from here uh, we have the options of width and height I choose height as 4 centimeter and width as 10 centimeter and I just click on build selected so it will be uh, done now it is I think the width is too uh, the height is too big so I can make it 3 ah, now it is ok now I go to material material means you have to choose a material where from you can uh, to define your problem suppose water is flowing inside the tube or inside the pipe so we have to add material just I clicked on material and chose the option add material and here if you type water and just enter it is searching for water molecule the computer is a bit slow that is why it is taking time huh yeah it came so from liquid and gases if we click then we can see water is there and we add to the selection now you can see here water has come and those are the properties defined that means that those are the properties of water and these properties may require in order to solve the equations associated with this laminar flow problem now I have to give the region where water is there so I just clicked on to the region and it will be shown in blue color blue color means the water has been selected in this particular region now 